All right, I'm back to another album review. Today's review is on OK Human by Weezer. This is the 14th studio album from Weezer. Originally, Van Weezer was going to be released after the Black Album, but got postponed by a year due to the COVID shit show. The first mention of OK Human was in uh, February of 2019, when Rivers Cuomo was interviewed by the Los Angeles Times. And he said this album was going to be piano-centric. The album was recorded at Gloria Sound, uh, Van Gelder Studio, Abbey Road Studio 2, uh, The Village, Big Bad Sound, and 4th Street Recording. It was produced by Jake St. Clair, and the vocal producer was Susie Shin. The chief engineers were Jonathan Allen and uh, William Whitman. The engineers were William Carroll, Zach Fisher, Brian uh, Fambona, Harry um, uh, Margaleff, uh, Paul Pritchard, Maureen Sickler, Susie Shin, and Rachel White. The assistants were Lawton Burris, uh, Branko Presley, Carl Wingate, Lazaro Zarate, and Andy Maxwell. The mixing was done by John Sinclair at Gloria Sound. The cover art was made by Matthias Adolfsson. The title is a reference to the album OK Computer by Radiohead. Good album, by the way. OK Human was released on uh, January 29th, 2021 on Crush Music and Atlantic Records. One thing I should mention is that uh, the album was recorded using analog equipment, which I think helps it make it sound more raw. This is similar to how Foo Fighters recorded Wasting Light using analog equipment. OK Human uh, also featured an orchestra consisting of 38 people. Rob Mathis was responsible for the arrangements. And now let's talk about the songs. The intro to this album is All My Favorite Songs, which was released as a single on uh, January 21st, 2021, just eight days before the album. Just listening to this song, uh, you can clearly tell that this this entire album is mostly centered around orchestral pop. Rivers Cuomo said that this song uh, is about his taste in music, which is why it includes the lyric, All my favorite songs are slow and sad. A music video was made, and I'm including a link in the description. After that is Alu Gobi. Now, the song mentions going to Montana and doing the same routine. The next track is Grapes of Wrath, which was released as a single on April 14th, 2021. My dad regularly plays this song on his radio show. The music video for the song is pretty funny, and I'm including a link in the description. This is also my favorite song from this album. Next up is Numbers. Now, the lyrics mention someone's IQ being too, uh, too low for poetry. Up next is Playing My Piano. I believe the lyrics are about what Rivers was going through during lockdown. At the time of me making this video, it will be nearly four years since the beginning of the lockdown. We followed that up with Mirror Image. This song is about Rivers' mirror image, and I believe this mirror image is supposed to be his wife unless I'm mistaken. That's followed up by Screens. Rivers mentions uh, missing his friends and family towards the end, and this track most likely has something to do with the COVID lockdown. The following track is Bird with a Broken Wing. Now, the title is self-explanatory. The track after that is Dead Roses. This is one of my favorite songs from this album. The track that comes next is Everything Happens for a Reason. The song is only 23 seconds long and is fully instrumental. The second to last track is Here Comes the Rain. Rivers mentions rain washing his troubles away. The outro for this album is La Brea Tar Pits. Unsurprisingly, La Brea Tar Pits are mentioned in the lyrics. When researching this album, I read that it peaked at number 41 on the Billboard 200 number five on the U.S. Top Alternative Albums, and number four on the U.S. Top Rock Albums. 
as the critics say, mostly gave it positive reviews since it has a 75 on Metacritic. Shipfork thought it was mediocre, which gives me another reason to shit on Shipfork. Now for my thoughts. I think Weezer working with an orchestra is a very interesting decision. This album is a major departure from their signature of pop rock and power pop sound, but it still retains much of their signature style. My friend on Facebook thought by the name of Adam Casto once posted saying that this is one of Weezer's best albums, and I agree. I don't know if Weezer will ever try anything like this again, but only time will tell. Overall, I highly recommend this album. Now is the part where I question you. I've listened to OK Human. If so, what do you think about it? What's your favorite song from it? What are your thoughts on Weezer working with an orchestra for this album? Do you think they should try something like this again? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to press the notification bell to notify of future videos. Thanks for watching, and fuck shit fork.